So in two weeks I'm going to Belgium and I'm going to stay in a castle. So I want to make a long skirt with a corset. Let's go! And since I'm still a beginner, I wanted to have a good instruction video. Found a tutorial by the amazing Nava Rose, where she also uploaded a free pattern for the corset. So I printed it out and I could already start. So no measurements, it's just one size. I hope the one size will fit me. For the underlining of my corset I'm using an old bed sheet and I found this beautiful fabric uh, with a bit of shine in it at the thrift store. Um, because I'm still a beginner I'm always scared to use expensive fabrics and in this thrift store they had way too many options <laughs> for way too cheap. And then it was time to use my adult skills and make some decisions. When I got home my boyfriend said... <laughs> So, my first pattern piece is cut out. It was time to do the same with the other pattern pieces and with the underlining as well. And the sun was already setting and that means that it's my favorite time of the day when the birds give away a free concert. It was a bit of a grey day, so I lit up the fireplace and I got ready for a cozy sewing afternoon. So I started with sewing the pattern pieces together. Still too small. Let me take you on the fast train on how I fixed this because I already had to leave in two weeks. So, hop on. so I traced over my pattern piece and I extended it a little bit. I cut out my new pattern piece out of the fabric. I said the old one goodbye and ripped it apart. Okay, okay, one moment please. I compared the new one with the old one. Why? Just because it's fun. And I sewed the new piece on. And I had a quick look. It's starting to look good, huh? Yeah, really proud already. And then it was time to try it on again. And it fitted, so let's hop off the train and continue in normal speed, huh? I had to do the same with the underlining as well, so I repeated this process all over again. And I pinned it down with the right sides facing each other, so I can sew them together. Time to flip it around and I forgot my flip stick at home and it took me a while to flip the thing all around but it worked out with a pen and a hairpin. Above all the seams I created a top stitch to make it look very neat. I always love this finishing touch and checked all my seams so that they're not gonna be holes in it again. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, we're at one of the last steps. I'm now gonna make the boning. For the boning I'm using zip ties that I just had at home and I'm tracing them on the places where I wanted them to be. Just a little bit wider so the zip tie can fit in it. So I'm just making kind of loops. With the placement I was winging it and not measuring it out and I kind of regret that because the middle was not the middle and people didn't see it but I saw it so I would recommend measuring it. I got rid of the head of the zip ties and I slid it in and make sure that the ends are not that sharp anymore so use some sandpaper. And I was planning to sew the bias tape on but when I saw the bias tape on my fabric it was not the same kind of blue so I called it a day and a problem for tomorrow. <laughs> So now I'm gonna make the holes for the ribbon to go through. I bought this kit at the store with the rings in it and I placed them out but there was one tiny problem and that was that you needed a hammer to create some force and we didn't have a hammer since we're on a holiday so we thought of something really <laughs> heavy. So we came to the conclusion that my boyfriend was the most heaviest thing that we had at that moment so with my boyfriend on the chair we could create the holes in my corset. And as you can see, it worked really well, um, only at one moment it broke down. It was a bit too heavy. <laughs> but the challenge of creating the rings was not over yet, because we had holes, but no rings. And for the bias tape I came to the conclusion that it's most beautiful to use the same fabric as the corset. So I cut down a piece of fabric and ironed it down. And my corset was almost done and I wasn't expecting it to be this easy because I'm still a beginner. And this was really doable and I can't wait to make more of them, maybe make some embroidery on them as well. I think that would be really, really beautiful. Maybe I will make one for my summer wardrobe series as well. And when my corset was done, it was time for a fitting and time to continue to make my skirt. For the skirt making I found a really nice website by Mood Fabrics and you can put in here your measurements and it will calculate how much fabric you need but also how you can easily cut out the pattern for your size. I decided to make it a long skirt because I think naked ankles is not proper in a castle. But what was proper in that time? So I asked my best friend and it turned out that the rich ladies were parading around with a lot of clothes around them. Sometimes around six or eight layers and the poor people only one or two. And the ladies also didn't wear a corset because they didn't have a servant to put it on. <coughs> So I cut out two pieces of the skirt pattern, in one of the sides I created a fold so I can add buttons to it. For the waistband I used a skirt that I already had to take the measurements from, uh, but it's your waist size plus a bit extra for the overlap. I made my skirt really high because if I wear my corset above it, I wanted it to look like a dress. I made waistband and now I'm gonna add the waistband to the skirt. Mm -hmm. 
So I will be creating some invisible buttons in the hem I made at the beginning. I'm using these buttons with teeth in them, so you have to press them in the fabric and <laughs> be sure that you put them right because it's very hard to get them out. So dress to impress, but which button? Yeah, I have to impress big time. Okay, shall I tell you a bit about why I'm going to a castle? So I'm one of the lucky ones who has been asked to join this European project where we meet in a castle with other youngsters and get courses in storytelling all week and meet storyteller performers and learn about the work field and work towards our own solo performance as well. Now I'm gonna sew the open ends together and then the only thing I have to do left is the hemming. And I did marry them, so now I have a lot of wives and live in this humble castle of mine. But I'm getting a bit bored already, so I think I'm gonna look for a new place to stay with new wives. But I have to make a new dress then, of course, as well. So if you like to follow me, subscribe.